A kite surfer is down and unable to relaunch. Lifeguard Ben and Will make the two kilometre drive by quad. That's broken, oh, yeah. yeah, he's still down, but where's he gone? No, that's what I mean. It's definitely not that kite that's just got back up. Lifeguards Lorn and Will head out to where they can see the downed kite. Well, so the boys initially saw um, from the tower a kite actually just floating on the southern end of the bath. The IRB approaches the kite they see ahead of them. But they soon realise there's a problem. Thankfully, the IRB crew spot him a few hundred metres south. Lawn updates the patrol tower. Uh, tower, tower, fire. The uh, patient is in boat. Uh, I'll drop him on this board back to shore. Then I'll come back out and get a flight. Whoa, so what's the second IRB for? Roger, oh. do you want assistance from the second IRB? No, thank you. We got one. Then I'll come back out and get a flight. As the IRB arrives back on shore at the harbour mouth, lifeguard Adam and a police constable who was also called greet them. You haven't thrown any water or anything like that? You're feeling pretty kosher? Yeah, it's all pretty calm out here. And the guys head back for the kite. I knew if I swam side on to the uh, current, eventually I'd, I'd get to land. It could be a mile or two up. But... Yeah, it was gradually, I started to see the, the light at the end of the tunnel, you know. It's probably about a good kilometre out um, at the end. 
pretty lucky in that instance where um, they're able to locate him so fast because especially with the way the current's moving and how fast it is, they can be separated by quite a distance pretty quickly. <laughs> Yeah, they keep the knife, which is cool. But he's great. Let's keep the knife going. Thankfully, his kite is also looked after, much to the rider's delight. And despite calling it a day, he'll get to have another go with him and all his gear intact. Yeah, all in all, a pretty good rescue. The boys did really well on the boat to get to, to find the guy. Um, took a little bit of searching to find him. Um, and then, yeah, we went out and uh, picked up his kite for him and he, uh, he's gonna meet us up at the club a bit later to, to uh, show us appreciation. <laughs>